Okay, guys, welcome to Sports Matters TV. We're in the HQ here in Cork, and we're joined by Ireland's boxing sensation, Aaron the Silence from McKenna. He's uh, he's not in Ireland at the moment. He's out enjoying the good weather. But uh, how's things with you, sir? How are you keeping? Yeah, I'm the best. How are you keeping? Yeah, I'm good. I, I wish I was out your direction, though, to be honest. Oh, yeah, the weather over here, yes, yeah, it's brilliant at the minute. And I'm loving it. Training hard at the minute, and everything's going smooth. That's good. And your your next fight's confirmed, Aaron. Um, you're going to be back in action pretty soon, early November. Yeah, um, uh, next fight has been announced, and I'll be fighting on November 8th at Fancy Springs. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that fight, and I've had a good 11 to 12 week training camp for this fight, and I'm more than ready. It's I'm sharp as a razor. You're very impressive since that pro debut. Uh, tell us what was it like to, to make that pro debut in such a big arena and you know in, in a great crowd. What was it like to get that first boat under the way? Oh yeah, it was an unbelievable experience. So it was uh, making my debut in Las Vegas. It's something that I've always been thinking about since I started boxing was being a professional boxer and what better place to do it in than in Las Vegas. So I'm improving now all the time and I just I want to improve every fight. And you definitely are. What's what's life like away from Ireland? Are you missing home much? Um, not too bad over here. Everything over here, uh, I love over here. So I do. Uh, I love the weather and I love the good hard uh, training that I do and the sparring I'm getting over here is top class. Like the people I've been sparring this year are, are all great boxers. I've had good spars with world champions. Ramir Khan sparred him. Sergey Lipinets. So. The sparring I'm getting out here is unbelievable and, and improving and getting better. Definitely. What, what's it like to, to work with Golden Boy Promotions? Easily the biggest stable worldwide. What's it like to be around the likes of Oscar and you know, Bernard Hopkins and all these great guys? Yeah, uh, to be part of Golden Boy Promotions is uh, unbelievable. I think they're the best promotions in the world. And Oscar De La Hoya as well. He's one of my favourite boxers. And to have him to be part of his team is just great and uh, can't wait to have many more fights as well so I have a good future ahead of me. You do, you're in great hands. Um, how are you finding the pro ranks at the moment? You've been extremely impressive in, in your fight boats. You're obviously enjoying it and you like doing the damage and getting, getting the fights finished as fast as possible. Yeah, I'm enjoying myself at the minute in the pro games and I just want to improve every fight so I do and in the next year or two I'm um, Hopefully, I'll be uh, having good big fights for a title. So, by the twenty, by the time I'm twenty-one, my aim is to become world champion. I believe you will do that. Um, we we seen recently you you signed a little deal with Nike. What's it like to, to do that? It's unreal. With a sign with Adidas. Yeah, Adidas. Sorry, my uh, bad, my yeah. bad. They're even better. Apologies. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was great to be signed with Adidas uh, growing up. I would have always wore Adidas and back in Ireland it's the biggest brand so Adidas is one of the probably the biggest brand in the world so it's great to be sponsored by them it's going to help me a lot in my career definitely you must send me back some tracksuits if they're giving you all these tracksuits make sure you send a few back to Cork to me I won't mind a few tracksuits with your name <laughs> on them um, what's it like you have a great management team around you what credit do they deserve because they do a fantastic job behind the scenes as well yeah the Great, have a great management team around me, so do, and a lot of credit goes to them, so um, they're moving me along nicely, and they're moving me at a good pace, so I couldn't be in a better position than what I am now, I'm 19 years old, and I'll take each fight as it comes, step by step. Definitely, and for all the, all the big Irish boxers at amateur level right now looking to turn pro, what kind of advice could you give them, Aaron, because there's so many wanting to turn pro, what's the best advice you can give them? Hey, just uh, follow your dream and train really hard and nothing comes easy in boxing. Definitely, I appreciate that. Do you, do you ever get starstruck out that way? I'm seeing all these big names are always around. Um, I seen you met Adam Sandler as well. That was yeah. that was unreal. Yeah, it was class. I met Adam Sandler so I did in Santa Monica, just walking down the street. And me and my brother Stephen, we bumped into him, and then later that day, coming home from training, we seen him again. So. <laughs> Twice in one day, it's unbelievable. I've seen a lot of famous people in here today, so yeah. couldn't be in a better place. Living the dream. How was how your bro Stephen doing? He's another fantastic boxer. 
Yeah, he's doing the best too. He's going to be turning pro too now very soon. Yeah. And he'll have a fight before the end of the year, so it'll, it'll be very good to, for the both of us. Be out before the end of the year and two brothers from Ireland out here in California, professional boxers. And it's just great. And we we train together. We spar as well. Close into my fight now. Next week, I'll be sparring with him and we'll get each other razor sharp. So it's great to have him here as well. Aaron, we're absolutely loving everything now. We're seeing all the reports. We're always reporting as well. Best of luck. We're going to be rooting for your next big fight. And uh, we will talk to you soon, my man. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks very much. Thanks, Aaron.